Hello everybody, welcome back to Funtastic. I probably don't have to tell you this, but in case you don't know, my name's Nico and I'm super excited today, but I'm also a little bit... I don't really know what to think. I am taking a look today at these Best Lock helicopter sets. They look exactly like Lego, and they even say on the front that it works with other brands. I wonder what those brands are. I don't know. Are they Lego? Are they Lego imposters? I kind of think they are just by looking at them. But I'm going to open them up and try to build these and then compare it to real Legos and see if they're different or if they're the same or if they're slightly different or I don't know. But you're coming along with me to find out. Now for those of you who don't know, I am a big fan of Legos. I love Legos. They're amazing. They're super fun to build. But I've never heard of Best Lock before. Okay, maybe that's a lie. I, I might have seen like in the airport before, have you ever walked through like one of those stores that has everything and they have like the little airplane kits that look like Legos, but they're not Legos? I'm pretty sure they're Best Lock. I don't know. So let's open them up and see what we have. Just to take a look at one of them up close, you can see that you can make a helicopter. The other one is also a helicopter. It is slightly different though, but it's basically the same idea. And then there's a figure, which looks like a minifigure, but I'm pretty sure it's not a minifigure, because see that face there? I've never seen that face before. On the back, it just shows what comes in the box. So, this is exciting. Let's just open this up and see what it's all about. Okay, here they are. I'm gonna open them both up at the same time so we can get like double action here. Let's do the cut. Now for the red one, let's open these up and see what we got. All right, so this is what we got instructions, which do look surprisingly similar to Lego instructions. Just saying. We have our bags of pieces, the little minifigure guy there. What I do realize on this guy is that the arms are detached from the actual body of the thing, which is slightly different than the Lego minifigures you get where the arms are already attached and the legs too actually are separated. So this could be interesting, maybe more fun than regular figures. I don't know, but we're gonna find out together when we set these up. Both seem the same. Same instructions basically, but they do have a slightly different build. It's that versus that, so they are slightly different. Before I start building, their logo is build a lot, play a little, which I think's going against Lego, because Lego things, as you might know, are expensive. So, watch this quick little video of me building it, and then we'll come back and discuss, are these Lego? Or like I said before, are they Lego imposters? Let's go. Okay, so I just finished building the red helicopter and before I even move on to the blue one, I just wanna talk about this. So this is the figure. Um, it's not really a mini figure, but it basically is. And you have to build the figure yourself, but in the instructions they don't give you anything on how to do it. So basically you have to figure it out yourself. You just take the piece, this is like the leg piece, and you attach one leg, but then you have to fit them together, which is kind of difficult. And then once the legs are built, you're not even done, there's more. Put the arms into the body and they snap in pretty well, I guess. I mean, none of this is great, but it works. You have to put the hands in too, which, man, ow. Ow. Have to use the table to push them in. This is hard. Not saying hard stuff is bad, but it's just, just not great. Then you attach it to the body, but like, that's really loose. Super loose. Why is it so loose? It's barely even staying on. That's what that looks like so far. Put the little glass hood on him. Looks good. But that is what you have to do to get your figure. This is what our helicopter looks like. Let's build the other part, the blue helicopter. And we'll come back and we'll do a little breakdown of all this. Here are the results. These are what I made. Honestly, 
I am not impressed because what is this, first of all? I was making everything, like it said, in the instructions, but it was difficult because the instructions were very, very vague. They were super hard to follow in some cases, and I don't even know how I got it done sometimes, honestly. But they turned out, and we have them here with us now. First of all, let's talk about the helicopter parts. They look okay, but they really aren't that functional. The little spinning things on top, they don't spin freely enough to even replicate a helicopter. And especially with this one, it has no way to land. And then when you lay it on a flat surface, the bottom just breaks off because it barely sticks on. This one is a little bit better. The propeller still doesn't spin. This propeller actually spins very nicely and it can land, but it kind of falls over. The main problem I have with the construction of the helicopter is that the pieces didn't really fit nicely together. When you have a Lego thing that you're building, the pieces always fit nicely. These, some pieces are really stuck on, but others just want to pop right off. They really haven't gotten that part down of making the shapes perfect so they fit together really nicely like they should. But overall, I mean, they look okay from far away, but they really, you can't really play with them or do anything because they're just gonna fall apart. Looks are okay, I guess, but they're not great. Now the real problem I'm having is with the figures. These things, first of all, we had to construct them by ourselves. I don't know why they didn't just come partially assembled because it was hard sometimes to put the pieces together and it was sometimes a little bit frustrating. But even more, they're just weird. If you look at them up close, they have boxy bodies. One of them has arms that are just straight pegs. So when you stick them out to do anything, it looks like peg arm. I was not a fan of the construction process nor the design of them. But then let's also think about the parts. The body comes off from the legs super easily. It just pulls straight off. Unless you run these things over with the helicopter, I wouldn't want their legs to randomly pop off, so I don't know about that. Its part quality just isn't very good. If you look at the visor on its helmet, it's partially falling off and it always comes off. Some of the pieces were just scratched up, and if you try to like twist the hands to move them, one might move really well and the other might not move at all. It's just not very good consistent quality. I also noticed a problem with the consistent quality with the helicopters. In general, they just need to have better quality pieces and parts, but then again, their motto is build a lot, pay a little, so I mean, if you pay a little, I guess you get what you're paying for with these, but overall, it's just not as great of an experience as a Lego building would be. Now this is a real Lego set. This is the Palace Cinema set, and honestly, it is much, much, much better than the little, these little guys. See, even when I went to pick it up, it's already broken. I know this Lego set I have in front of me is actually much bigger and much more expensive than these, but still, even the quality of the parts in the little Best Lock helicopter set is so much worse than in this nice Lego set because everything is out of scale, and sometimes things are out of scale in Lego too, to be fair. But, as an example, this is the minifigure that is supposed to ride in this helicopter. He is almost as long as the propellers. Then again, the back part fell off. I barely even hit it. This is kind of frustrating, but it's okay. All I really brought this big set out here is to see if this will connect to this set. So the helicopter, the best lock, does actually connect to the Lego, but it was kind of hard to get in there. And again, broke off. The little yellow piece from the Lego set is stuck on the bottom of the propeller. Broke the set? Obviously it will fit, but it's not great. Now, though, I just want to discuss the minifigures, because the minifigures are what makes me the most angry of all. In this set, there is a Lego minifigure. This minifigure right here is Lego, and it has a nice curved body, nice arms, the hands can move side to side, its legs move nicely, it doesn't pull off from the body, I'm pulling pretty hard and it's not coming off. Everything looks really nice about this figure, right? But then... Let's put it side to side by this one. Its arms are so weird. Why does it have arms like that? That's all I want to know. All I want to know is why does it have such weird arms? 
obviously, Best Lock has some work to do because this red one I have here is bad. Okay, so that does it for this quick little unboxing and review of the Best Lock helicopter sets. Honestly, I don't like them at all. Spend your money on getting a small Lego set rather than a big Best Lock set. I know Legos are expensive, and whenever I'm on a Lego, I'm like, whoa, that's so much money. But I would much rather get a tiny Lego set than get a giant set of Best Lock. Because Best Lock. <laughs> the tail fell off again. I just held it up and it fell off. So as you can see, it's very not reliable and it's not very good. And for those of you who don't know what that means, that means it's bad. Once again, thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe to Fantastic and like this video. And also in the comments, if you've ever tried Best Lock, what have your thoughts been? Maybe this was a defective set or maybe I put it together wrong, who knows? Pretty sure I didn't put it together wrong, but if I did, then I apologize for this whole video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be back with Ellie and others later, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Our next video.